to tell you, I have been hearing lately so much more hype about sunless tanners than I ever have before. I mean, they've been around for a long time, but I feel like so many people are using them and kind of coming to the realization that tanning in the sun or in a tanning bed is not good for your skin. It's not healthy and it's not good for, you know, uh, trying to fight the aging process either. So I'm excited to share with you my favorite sunless tanners. About a year ago, I did my uh, what I thought were best and worst sunless tanners and um, the worst ones that I mentioned in that video kind of remain the same this year so I'll link to that in the box below if you want to get kind of an update on the things that I don't like because they have remained the same and there's no real update in that department. So I'm going to get started with the product that has really been kind of revolutionary for me over the past few months and it is from Saint Tropez and it is the bronzing mousse and I got this big size from QVC see um, when this was on a today's special value not all that long ago and it came with a couple of these mitts that you put it on with and at first I was really skeptical about the mitt idea I thought you know how does this give you any control how do you know where the products going but really it helps your tan go on really evenly and um, really quickly too actually so basically what we have here is a pump and this is again a really large size this is typically sold in a little bit smaller container but it pumps out a bronze tint tinted mousse and you put that directly on your mitt here and then you just start going to town and you got to move kind of quickly um, but this is a sunless tan that really um, gives you a sort of tan look right off the bat before the actual you know sunless tanning is actually taking effect on your skin but also it dries really quick and I'm going to talk about another sunless tanner that I also really love because uh, the color is great and I don't think it gets streaky on me or anything like that. But this one, um, what I love about it so much is that I can put it on almost right before I go to bed. No colors coming off like on my sheets and it's drying like immediately. Um, but that, the one thing about that is you do have to move kind of fast with your mitt. Um, but you are covering a lot more surface area with this mitt and it takes the fingers out of the problem. You know what I mean? So you can go all the way down to your hand and all this stuff and you're not worrying about getting, you know, the streaks that you sometimes see most commonly fingers are causing that with sunless tanners. So I love this. I can use it on my face as well. Or the drying and the color and um, the longevity of the color I think is pretty impressive too. So I just give this one real really high marks and I know that's popular with a lot of people and this is probably not the first you're hearing about it but I really love it um, but something else that I think is great and this was sort of the top one for me last year and I still have some in here and continue to use it it's the faux tan by bare essentials and when I got it it came with this nice dense brush it could be put on without the brush but what the brush does is again like the mitt it's you're not applying it with your hand and this is really dense really soft and you just apply the product to the brush put it on and I don't get streaky with this it gives me nice color this is maybe a little more moisturizing to the skin than the Saint Tropez is I mean with that quick dry you're sacrificing um, something that's providing a lot of hydration to the skin so this is a little more hydrating I won't say it takes forever to dry but you know I would definitely wait probably several hours if I could before going to bed to put something like this on or if you're putting it on before a night out you know just allow yourself a little time so you don't have to worry about it getting on clothes because it is again you can tell by the pump here it's a dark tinted gel it goes on with color you can tell where it's going with both of these I mean you can see exactly what you're doing so I love them both the only thing that edges out the Saint Tropez is really the drying time for me I realize both of those are a little bit pricey but there is a drugstore sunless tanner that I think is really really good and it's from banana boat and it's the summer color self tanning lotion and I have it in deep dark color I think this is probably my third <laughs> container of this that I've had. This again is a tinted product and you can see right there um, it's coming out with sort of a light tan tint and of course that's going to develop on your skin and give you that tan. Um, you know it doesn't have any sort of application method that comes with it like a brush or a mitt or anything like that but it's rather moisturizing. Um, I don't think it has quite the intensity maybe uh, color wise that these other two do but it you can build up a tan the color will build with this if you continue to apply this on a daily to every other day basis you're gonna have pretty good luck with that and quite a few questions so far this season from uh, girls saying they have fair skin and they want something that's not going to give them like 
a, a super obvious transformation. So you might be looking for like a gradual tanner and one that I think is the best and I named this one last year. It's the Jurgens Natural Glow Foaming. Um, I have this for medium to tan skin tones and much like the San Tropez, it dries very fast. So this comes out as a colorless white basically mousse and you just rub that in it's going to dry real quick it's going to not provide you like a whole lot of tan on the first day but as you apply it consistently several days in a row maybe several times a week at least you will see um, some gradual tanning happening there it's not going to be crazy dark I say it dries in seconds and glides on evenly for streak free color and i actually think that's a pretty accurate claim what's what's good for what skin tone um a lighter skin tone could use the Saint Tropez or the faux tan. I think it's more a matter of personal preference. You know, do you like seeing yourself with more or less of a tan? And those can get you pretty dark. After like a couple applications with either of those, you will have what I consider to be a relatively deep tan. For face, um, my ultimate favorite face self tanner continues to be these pads from Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, you can get these in I think 25 packs or a 50 pack. I most recently got the 50 pack after after trying these in a QVC beauty test tube, um, but they're the Alpha Beta Glow Pads Anti-Aging Self Tanner with Active Vitamin D. These are just little towelettes. They go on colorlessly. You can put them all over your face. They dry pretty quickly. Um, I've been using these several times a week for a while now just to keep up sort of a natural level of color in my face. This is one of the few, few sunless tanners for face that I actually get an effect from. I feel like so often the sunless tanners for the face do nothing. I mean, I've gone through so many that have claimed to, you know, give you a great tan, and I feel like when my face has a little more color, I use less makeup. And this just works really well for me. Just have enough juice in one of these to go all over your face, down your neck, and this whole decollete area. I love these so much. I've never gotten streaky on my face with these, not once. And you can use the Saint Tropez or the Faux Tan on your face if you want to. I've used both of them on my face with no um, negative side effects, I guess. They, ha they haven't broken me out personally, um, but I just like reaching for this because I know it is providing some kind of like anti-aging benefits, excuse me, um, for my face, and that's good to know. And just a couple options real quick for something that you can do to give yourself some temporary color. Maybe you were in a pinch, you had an event coming up, you didn't even think about it, you hadn't been sunless tanning, and now you've got to wear a dress. I have the Sally Hansen Salon Airbrush Legs in Deep Glow, and this is a favorite I know for a lot of makeup artists. This is something that I think Kim Kardashian has said she swears by, um, but what this is is a little spray thingy here and you can put it on and it actually has like some coverage to it. If you've got imperfections on your legs, um, I don't know, if you've got had little bumps and bruises and whatever, this evens out the skin. It's kind of like a, a makeup, a body makeup, if you will. When used on its own, it doesn't spread extremely easily. But here's what I'll do. I'll cut my hand and, you know, spritz some of that in there. And then I'll add a little bit of lotion, whatever kind that might be. Just put a little lotion in there rub it all together and you still get the coverage but it spreads so much more easily on your skin and your legs will be looking you know tan perfect wonderful with and this that. might even be something where let's say you had a little mess up with the sunless tanner got a few streaks going on this can really make those seem less obvious by using something that is kind of like a body makeup and something i would advise you to do before you do any sunless tanning it's a really good idea to exfoliate the skin you could use a body scrub i have one from soft soap that i love it's coconut scented and it just kind of gets me in that mood okay i'm going to do some sunless tanning but um um, another thing you can use are just those, you know, those puffs that are like, you know, bright colored sort of mesh puffs. If you just use one of those with any kind of body gel or body wash and really use that, that will exfoliate your skin as well. Doing that will really extend your tan because you're sloughing off the dead skin cells before you even put on that layer of whatever it may be. I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, if you're wondering what to stay away from, I mentioned a few things in last year's video, which I've linked to below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.